Alright guys, before we get into this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the video. Alright guys, so this RuneScape video is going to be a little different. This is just going to be a little money-making guide for 2020 old school RuneScape. And it's going to go through uh, pay-to-play, free-to-play, high, medium, low. I will have like um, texts in the corner or on the screen of what it is, the level requirements, and what is needed to do um, the way of money making. Um, so we're going to start out with low levels and work our way up. So I will be back with the low level uh, money making guides. All right, guys. So this is the first way uh, or low level way of making money. Just gr grab some pot vials from or any water holding objects. So bowls, buckets, whatever, um, jugs. Just go to the town center of rock and just start filling them. It's not the prettiest way of making money, but it is, and it's not the most efficient, but it does make a one coin profit. So say you spend like 1000 on vials, it'll end up being 2000 and you can just go back and forth between the Grand Exchange and this spot as well, or the Brock Center, whichever you do choose. All you need is vials, no levels required, and just being in Barack. All right, now the next um, money-making method is by tanning leather. So go to the Grand Exchange or kill um, cows down in Lumbridge and get cowhide. The only requirement for this is having some cash already on hand, and it will be a lot um, easier. So when you're in Elkerid, all you got to do is go over to the tanner. I would buy like as many hides as you can. So you're not going back and forth between the Grand Exchange and um, Elkerid. All you want to do is tan, right click and tan all for soft leather. And you have made some money. It's 190 per. All right. Now for this. All you got to do is get yourself 15 wood cutting and you will be able to cut down oak trees. Now, oak trees give a lot of blogs when you are a lower level. Um, all you got to do is get an axe and go cut oak trees and each oak log is 64 GP, which not, not a lot, but it's something to get started and the bank is right here in Varak. Varak is probably the best place to do this. And all you gotta do is bank them and run back. It's quick and easy for money making. All right guys, for this next money making method, you're gonna need uh, 20 plus fishing. Now it's not as quick because there isn't a bank nearby. But once you get to 20 fishing, go to Barbarian Village and you will be able to use your fly fishing rod and your um, and feathers. And all you got to do is catch some trout and salmon and run it all the way back up to Edgeville. That's the closest bank to bank at. Or you can cook it. I mean, cooking, you'll get a little less money, but you'll still make money. And each feather is like one or two coins. So, yeah. Okay, so they're three now. So, each fish is like 69 to 59 coins. So, you're making a huge increase in profit. And you don't use each feather every time. All right, guys. Now, we are getting into the pay-to-play uh, money-making methods. Now, the... A really good one for low levels is uh, picking flax and spinning it because you only need like I think you only need 10 crafting for this um, all you gotta do is uh, collect a bunch of flax and run it 
all the way up to the first building after the church and go upstairs and then spin the flax so each flax uh is four coins but when you spin it into bow strings it turns into 150 or 135 coins so that is another free way to make money i mean you can buy the flax if you want and just spin it yourself but it could be even easier if you guys don't have money all right so this next money making method requires orgy fishing all you got to do is get your hands on a lobster pot and you can even just buy one from henry here and then just go to catherby and fish lobster each lobster is about 170 ish i think per um per lobster i'll tell you once we get a lobster all right the next money making method requires 60 plus wood cutting and all you gotta do is go into catherby or around Varrock. this can be done pay to play or free to play and all you gotta do is get um some u logs it will take a while but it's 107 97 coins per log and all you gotta do is run back to either the grand exchange or the bank in catherby to bank all right now with 45 fletching all you gotta do is get a knife and some maple logs and turn them into arrow shafts now each um each maple log is seven coins so it's easily just able to be bought and then crafted yourself each set gives 60 arrows which are one a piece so after just five you have gotten yourself 300 coins right there it's super easy and fast and all you can and you can just bank stand and do it or do it or cut logs up behind the the camel up bank and bank all right now this next money making method is you're going to need 60 2 plus but 80 is recommended for this you're going to need to complete the swan song quest and you're going to uh, need a small net and you're just going to fish monkfish. I already have a bunch of monkfish and I don't want to screw up my um, monkfish because they're needed for 99 cooking. So each monkfish is 298 coins a piece. It, they can be caught really quick. If you guys want a quicker way of getting them, you're going to need uh, the fishing outfit and a Rita's Blessing, which will give you an increased chance in double fish. Also, adding the Dragon Harpoon to boost your fishing will help as well. All right, this next one is fishing again as well. You're going to need 76 plus fishing, but 90 is recommended. All you need to do is either go to Camelot and let's see, where's Camelot? So you go from Camelot and you run your way all the way down to the fishing guild or go to Barak and get yourself a skills necklace and go to the fishing guild. Once you're inside the fishing guild, you're going to want your harpoon. A dragon harpoon would be better. But all you got to do is right click on the um, the net fishing spots and harpoon your sharks. Each shark is about 300. Each shark is 616 coins. So this is probably going to be one of the best money making methods you can get. That requires skilling. Now we're going to start getting into more of the combat stuff but before we start that 
Another good money-making method is cleaning dwarf weeds or even farming dwarf weeds. Now, I'm not going to show that because I don't have a dwarf weed um, set up. But each dwarf weed, if I can find it, do I not have? Okay, I do have dwarf weeds. Each one is 500 coins or even better, farm yourself Renar weeds. And each one, each seed's like 35k, but each seed that you plant, you get about um you get about five or six of them so it ends up being more um it gives you a little more especially if you use the magical sectors and stuff like that all right guys so here we are in the tackles and dungeon or whatever it's called now for this money making method, you're actually going to have to get yourself a fire cape. And you're going to use the fire cape on the Tazar Ket right here. And he will give you access to the other area of the cave. And when you go in here, you're going to be fishing infernal eels. Now, infernal eels are. You're going to want 85 fishing and you're going to want 25 herb lore along with that you're going to want the icy glove or the ice gloves uh let's see ice yes you're going to want the ice gloves you're going to want a hammer fishing bait and the oily rod i do not have the oily rod because i forgot to grab it so let me grab that really quick oily rod and you're just going to want to run south of the bank and it's super quick you don't have to worry even about banking now it's recommended to have a higher fishing level to do this again a better way of getting this is um having the having the dragon uh, harpoon to give the special to boost your fishing up and you're going to want the Rita's blessing and then you just use your hammer and come on use the hammer and you get tackle you guys will also get along with the tackle which you can save up and go use in the gem guy right across from the fishing spot to buy an onyx and that sells for three mil along with that you will get um lava scale shards which are 400 apiece which is really good now for the next one you're going to want uh zalu adrin teleports these can be bought at the grand exchange or you can you can take the this fairy ring if you have 76 agility and come right over here to the sacred ales or you can take the charter ship here and just run all the way down when you get here you're going to need to talk to the high priest and go through his dialogue and then he will allow you to fish um the sacred ales or eels i don't know why i keep saying ales and then you're going to need a knife as well all right guys now for this one this one's going to be a little more a little higher level you're going to want to have good combat stats and you're going to want to be able to get the best gear you can so once i'm prepared i will all right now at this point you're going to want to get the best gear you can it doesn't matter uh what that gear is otherwise range is another good option for this as well even low level range as long as it's above level 60, you will be fine. Now, all you got to do is go to Falador, run over to the to the uh, dungeon over here, and you're going, if you have 70 um, agility, just squeeze through the pipe. Otherwise, you're going to have to get the key from the guy over here 
and then you're gonna have to run all the way back up here to this door right here and let yourself in to the blue dragons if you have 70 agility it's even quicker you just gotta go right in through and as you guys can see there is a bunch of like low level players just killing dragons i might not be able to get a dragon killed this time but you're going for your inventory you're going to want at least a combat or ranging potion anti-fires if you're you if you're doing melee and some food and an energy potion now along with this there is another place back over here for black dragons blue dragons are okay but black dragons are probably a little better uh because they are higher level and they will give i think the leather is or the hide is a little more expensive you want to run through the poisonous spider pits over here and you're going to want to oh thank god that did not hit me you're going to want to go to the black dragons and pot up as long as you're back behind this gray um where the gray and the brown are you will not be hit by these dragons they cannot come up this way or anything like that and all you gotta do is hit them and pick up the stuff run back hit the other one run back very easy good money making method i just don't have the materials to do this right now for this next money making method we're going to focus on cooking you're going to want at least 82 cooking for uh monkfish and you're going to want to do the quest that gets you to uh, where is it you're going to want the quest to get you to port piss Tilius, and if you unlock everything you're gonna you're gonna want to teleport there using the glade to teleport i have everything unlocked i'm not saying you guys will but even if you just uh go from draenor or port sarim over you it's fine as well and you're gonna want to have cooking gauntlets for this so i will be back all right so we are here so you're going to want you're going to want to come from the glade teleport run all the way up to this cooking house right here it's the best way to get cooking xp and on another note as long as you have uh plus 10 favor in hosidius you will not burn food at this point so 82 cooking for monkfish is recommended for this skill because each monkfish is 298 coins but once you cook it 400 coins like pretty much an extra 100 coins just from cooking and the bank is right next to it along with that if you are 89 plus cooking sharks are another option so each shark is 835 cooked whereas raw sharks are 616 you're adding another 200 coins so this is one of another one of the good money making methods as well just skilling anyways guys please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video